what's up everybody welcome back for those that are you know love to see on my channel my channels my videos <laughs> and welcome for those that are new I appreciate you taking the time out to watch my videos so today I am going to review the echo spot another one of the lovely products from Amazon which is a uh, my drug of choice <laughs> I can't help but to shop on there I get packages every day it's horrible all right, so let's see what it's all about. Okay, well, first of all, just barely looking at it. Kind of looks like an eight ball. Just wait for the fortune show. I don't know. I guess I got to plug it in to get the fortune, huh? <laughs> all right. So then we got the charger and some stuff I probably won't read. <laughs> so let's plug you in and see what's going on with you, shall we? So, just initially looking at it, I did do a little bit of research before I um, opened the box and everything like that, so I won't just try and do trial and error on video, although that would be something I would do. Um, so, <laughs> let's see. There are two little holes back here. One is for, obviously, to plug in. The other one is actually for an auxiliary cord, so that way if you have other speakers or... Uh, another form of music that you want to plug in there there you go that covers that so and it only goes in on this one i just tried doing it on that one and <laughs> so while it's setting up i think it's a cute little device all right that's so zen like oh, i just realized <laughs> all right so while it sets up I'm going to have it facing... Oh. Your Echo Spot is ready for setup. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, so we're going to set it up. we got to speak or pick the language. We have English from the U.S., English from the U.K., or Dutch. I'm tempted to put Dutch because I want to learn German, but um, I might need to learn more <laughs> before I push that one. So I'm going to go with the U.K. Hello. Right. Well, hello, my dear. <laughs> I love the English accent. All right, let me type in my Wi-Fi, so bear with me one second. Oh, and done. This is connecting now. All right, it's fetching registration. Now I got to do my Amazon stuff. See if I can remember. See, this is the downside of having everything you know, and all your devices already having like the password and the email and all that stuff set up. But you gotta remember what the password is. Well, and the email address. But then again, I get emails from them, so that kind of helps. So, and it's not very mail friendly. I will say that. So, you're gonna get a point doc for that. Just say. Just say. Because once I typed in one letter, it goes to another. All right. So now it is registering. Oh, well, thank you. That is me. All right, this is a bummer here. I, As I stated to the begin with, I did the UK English version, but since I don't live in the UK, it's telling me, it says the selected language setting does not match your Amazon account setting. As a result, Alexa may not always understand what you've set. But I'm going to do me anyways. Because I'm stubborn like that. <laughs> All right, so let's go that way, and we're gonna name this the device Spot, which is automatically. Oh, Duh. I was wondering why I was kind of bubbling. <laughs> I have my moments; I can't help it. So, the, you can actually select the name of it. I'm just gonna leave it as Spot as the default setting. All right, so we're gonna load on that. And it's going to do an introductionary video. Y'all want to watch this? All right, no response, so we're going to watch it. <laughs> Introducing Amazon Echo Spot, a stylish, compact Echo with a screen that's designed to fit anywhere, like on your office desk or nightstand. Alexa helps you do more with your voice. Alexa, what's on my calendar today? Today, there are two events at 8 a.m. There's a call with Grandma, and at 4 p.m., there's Ben's soccer game. Use room-to-room -room calling to check in on the family. 
Alexa, drop in on the kitchen. <laughs> and now, you can easily call most numbers in the U.S., Canada, or Mexico from your Echo device to their home or mobile phone at no additional cost. Alexa, call Grandma's home phone. Calling Grandma's home phone. <laughs> Ready for some music? Just ask for a song, artist, or genre from your favorite music service. And with multi-room music, you can play your favorite songs on supported Echo devices in different rooms. Alexa, play Walk the Moon on the Bedroom Echo. Playing songs by Walk the Moon on the Bedroom Echo. <laughs> you can automate your smart home using the Alexa app. After setting up your compatible devices, Puppy. just create a routine that will help you do multiple things with one phrase. For example, say, Alexa, good night. To lock the front door and turn off the downstairs lights. Why are the lights already turned off? Then, set a music alarm to wake you up. Alexa, wake me up at 7 a.m. tomorrow with Sia. Alarm set for 7 a.m. tomorrow to Sia. With a growing selection of clock faces, and tens of thousands of skills and counting, Alexa is always getting smarter. Explore skills in your Alexa app or ask, Alexa, recommend some skills. To get a list of things to try, just ask, Alexa, what can I say? And when you want to go back to the home screen, say, Alexa, go home. Go home. Enjoy your new Echo Spot. I sure will. Thank you. All right. So if you were... If you're paying attention or you kind of fast forward it, <laughs> can't really blame you because you can watch this video on your own. But um, I was actually laughing because every time it said the name, my other Echo device would turn on. And luckily it didn't say anything to ruin the video, but I just thought it was so funny. So, no thanks, we're not going to do that. All right, so, a little bit of the info. Spot is ready. Well, thank you. All right. So there are three buttons on top. So we're gonna go get a little bit more into the cosmetics of it. There are three buttons. Of course, you got the positive and the negative for the volume. And this little X button. If you don't know what it is, we'll figure it out together. No, I'm joking. Um, if you have multiple devices, um, like I do, I have the Echo, um, the standard Echo. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. I did another video. The second generation one. Second generation Echo. Duh. No wonder, it was, no wonder it was so hard for me to remember because it's so simple. And then I have this one. So if I'm saying the name, it will, um, and I only want one of them to turn on, and I haven't changed the name to either one of them, then instead of having both of them respond, only one of them will respond because this one's turning off. So I actually changed the name for both of my devices. So now I can say Alexa. And as you can see, none of my devices respond. My original Echo, I changed it to Amazon. Amazon, tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Farah. Fair who? Fair enough. You want a knock, knock joke? <laughs> you got one. I don't care how corny it was. It made me laugh. So, as, as you can tell, I didn't have the light on on this one but it didn't respond either because I changed the name to this one as well. So you can just go to the Alexa app. I think it's the Alexa app. Let me double check. I know what it looks like and I remember, but I don't, yeah, Amazon Alexa is what it's called. Oops. <laughs> Not talking to you. Not you. All right, so again, I'm gonna show you an example of the top button. So as I said, the name of this one is Echo. It doesn't respond whatsoever. But Echo. Echo. Tell me a joke. How is a pony like a sore throat? They're both a little horse. <laughs> That's cute. I like the little, I guess, pictures or commentary that it goes with along with it because if I ask what the weather is Alexa oh sorry just kidding <laughs> I changed the name echo 
What's the weather in New York? In New York, it's 45 degrees with rain. Tonight's forecast is more of the same, with a low of 43 degrees. Yeah. That doesn't sound very pretty. I don't like the cold, and I don't like the rain. So, I like the little uh, graphics that it does with it. So that's one of the main difference between the Spot and all the other Echo devices, the Dot and everything like that. I personally do not have the Dot uh, with me, otherwise I'd be able to compare the volumes with it, but from a lot of the reviews that I've read and the uh, descriptions that I've read, the Spot actually has a better volume compared to the Dot. So that's one of the big differences, but of course the original first and second generation are going to have a louder volume, mainly just purely on the size. Of course, they're comparing the spot with the dot because of the size comparable. Now, the, the size of the screen itself is about two and a half inches. So a little bit about that. And one thing that I love about it is that, you know, if you're ever at night, if you're, you know, wake up in the middle of the night, and you look at what time it is, the light is blaring in your eye. This doesn't do that. It has the ambient light, so based on the surrounding light is going to base off of this light. So if it's dark, you don't have to worry about being blinded. Which is very beneficial, especially if you're light sensitive. Unlike normal or most alarm clocks, they're already bright as it is. Um, but the, of course, the camera right here, if you can see it, as well as the screen, that's the main difference between the Echo devices and the Spot. Um, it does have six different digital faces, as well as um, six analog faces, such as this one. So I haven't changed it, which I probably need to. And one thing that I plan on doing tonight is updating the picture of it. So I can, I don't have to worry about you know, them choosing a picture because I want to wake up looking at my beautiful self. <laughs> I promise you I'm not that arrogant. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. I can't. Or if I want my pretty little puppy. Hi, pretty burgers. That's another thing that you can adjust it to because I know with other products, I got, I've gotten been questioned on whether you can change the background photo or not. With this one, you can't. So avoid that question. <laughs> there are 12 different alarm settings, which it's asking me if I want to set up a reoccurring alarm, which I don't, because I wake up on my time. At least I do mentally. <laughs> so you, I believe, let me double check on this one before I give you the incorrect information on the sound. Oh, you can have, they have certain celebrity sounds which I will be playing one like Missy Elliott. Let's see what that sounds like. But I don't want to be a superstar. I want to sleep. Sorry, I talked back to my alarms. What can I say? What? Time to wake up. Good morning. How do you know it's morning? Well, that's usually when people set alarms for James. Ah, they might be having an afternoon nap. The only things that take afternoon naps are cats and you. Which, interestingly, are the only two things I'm allergic to. All right, what time is it? I don't know. We're not in the room with them. Or are we? We could be hiding in the wardrobe. And <laughs> just wake up. And then, could you poke some toast? Okay, that was long enough. So, you have a couple of different choices. You have the standard musical tones such as <whistles> no so you have a couple of different options of 12 a dozen options of musicals such as that one or you have how many is this one two three four five six seven eight nine nine what they call celebrity sounds which is um, again, Missy Elliott, they had Grand Tour, which was a second lengthy alarm clock. That alone will make me want to turn off my alarm. Just saying. Although I probably would see myself arguing with the <laughs> alarm clock. And yes, I am one of the people that take maps in the middle of the day. Just so you know. It's not just him. 
and I wish I didn't do him once. <laughs> so that's a couple of things. Uh, let's see. Oh, as far as the alarms go. Let me actually set an alarm, shall we? We will set Alexa. Er, ah, just kidding. I need, really do need to change that back. <laughs> Echo, set an alarm for 736. Is that 7.36 in the morning or in the evening? In the evening. Alarm set for 7.36 p.m. All right. So I have a minute to go ahead and use with you guys. Let's see if there are any other... Of course, you can change the volume of the alarm. Oh, hold on. Wait. It's coming up. Why don't you go off? Oh, there it goes. To snooze the alarm, you're just going to push it, and it takes nine minutes. That's the snooze time. I wish you can adjust that. Amazon, can you make it where you can adjust the snooze time? Oh, sorry. Wrong. Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> I really need to remember what I named these things. <laughs> Please let me know I'm not the only one. Please. <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna need you guys to adjust that so that way we can I mean if we only did three minutes snooze that way we can hit it 30 times and equal the hour and a half that we gave to sleep versus the nine minutes you know it'd be a little bit more helpful just saying I need a couple more chances and then so it's gonna it's gonna ring again at 745 and to be able to turn that off, you can do it one of two ways. You can tell Echo to turn off the alarm. Echo. Echo. Turn off alarm. 7.36 p.m. alarm canceled. Thank you. And the other way is, as you've seen, whenever it popped up originally, the alarm had to dismiss and you just kind of pull it up. So that's another thing. I'm trying to think of anything else that I can, any other little tidbits that I can give about the device itself before I play around with it a little bit on this video. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any other little tidbits and I was going to play around with it a little bit, but I figured I'd save that for another video. If you want me to do that, let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and end this out with a joke before I turn, before I let you guys go. Echo, tell me a joke. What does a cat say when he stubs his toe? Meow. <laughs> that was cute. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the Echo Spot. What are your advices, tidbits, and things like that? What I didn't cover, hopefully I covered everything, but, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Nobody can be as perfect as I am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks for checking me out. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment. Also, check out my other YouTube videos because you know you want to see more of my goofiness, my weirdness. Just me. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys. Make sure you stay dazzy.